On the 30th of January, Metro Search and Rescue based in Port Elizabeth, as well as a PE Air Wing, together with East Cape Police, embarked on a series of training drills. As you can see here, the unit was briefed on how to enter and exit a chopper, as well as how to approach a chopper uh, safely and how to conduct various operations while using the air wing. You can see the dog unit was involved as well. Our dogs are trained tracker dogs, as well as uh, wilderness detection dogs. You'll see uh, part of our training is to get the dogs used to uh, the choppers and how they smell and how to enter and exit safely. As you can see, lots of meetings were held and that was us basically discussing how in a real life scenario we can streamline the effect to make everything go smoothly. Lots of practices were done. As you can see, people debusting from the aircraft safely. The captain then briefs us on how he would take off from that scene. Now, as we enter the chopper, you'll see it is quite tricky. There's a lot of uh, weight differences to take into account. Obviously, with our rucksacks, they all weigh quite a bit, as well as the three people in the back. So, a lot of the, the, the techniques used here were explained by the captain in detail and how it affects the actual pilots during these drills. All these things are needed to hone in in order to uh, perform an efficient search and rescue operation effectively. When it comes to the dog unit, obviously the dogs have to be trained on how to enter and exit a chopper safely. The handlers also have to know what they're doing. And in this case, you can see Anthony and myself, the two dog handlers were in the chopper. The dogs enter and exit as needed. Now basically this is uh, to show people how in a real life scenario we actually train non-stop in order to be able to affect this efficiently. As you can see this was the first of many uh, training operations we intend to have so eventually this will all be running like clockwork and we practice in our spare time as well. As you can see the dogs also love it. Uh, there's no, they're not scared of, of much. We do it with the fire department as well. Several training sessions with the fire trucks and so on. As you can see debusting, very very tricky. You can imagine the blades are turning, the winds blowing. So now we have to develop the best way in order for us to be efficient and not hinder the police while they have to take off or land etc. So it's all about efficiency. So we basically discussing here on how to be the most efficient entering and exit the chopper. Luckily the police, very very capable pilots and team uh, guided us through the whole process and they were giving us pointers on how and what to do. As you can see obviously different choppers will vary so in this case it's quite a small helicopter so they were explaining how the wind and the weight balance has to all be taken into account when climbing into the chopper. So entering the chopper is done very, very slowly and exiting is done very, very slowly so the pilot can compensate uh, for the various wind etc and weight balances. So ultimately, very, very good training session. It's the first of many, and uh, we thank the East Cape Police and Airwing for allowing us to do this, and we look forward to doing more in the future. We'll be ready for any rescue.